Jason Watson. I'm a professional jockey and I'm here because of a spinal injury at Oaksy House. I got three fractures in my neck. I think it was my C2, C3 and C4 possibly. And I'd done my T6 in my back. So yeah, I come in here three days a week. My instructors vary really depending on what I'm doing. Uh, Gavin's mainly my gym and uh, each time I'm in the gym we'll work on different things, my upper body, my lower body. You go heavier, you go heavier. <laughs> you can go heavier. He's as upbeat as you possibly can after breaking your neck. Um, most jockeys, including Jason, use this as a, a time to, to build on their fitness and build and to help straighten them up. Jason's fractures don't allow us to rotate and uh, put any weight down through his spine. So we're very limited to what we can do with Jason. So at the minute, Jason's main goals and objective is to manage his weight and keep his fitness up where he was. So when he gets back to racing, he can come back seamlessly back into the same level of fitness that he had prior to his injury. As the weeks have gone on, obviously you just feel yourself getting stronger and it's recovering, so it's not quite so bad. But at the start, yeah, I was kind of restricted to certain things. Um, like I couldn't lift any weights. You know, I couldn't even open the door. When there is restrictions based on your injury, there's always something you can do, like getting in the pool, walking, using the bike. Even when you're not allowed to run, if that was your usual mode of uh, maintaining your weight, we'll always find something for you to do. Some things uh, really hurt, like doing the weights can be quite strenuous in the gym. too bad. No, that's worse. This one's worse. All around your shoulders, you know, it's like I said, it's important to keep it strong as best as you can. It's just going to help the fracture like stay in place, you know. Um, you don't want to let the muscles relax too much because at the end of the day they're there to support the fractures. It's good, you know, training that hard. You don't lose, you don't lose hardly any fitness, you know. Ready to go. They're professional athletes, you know, they, they make money for what they do and they need to be extremely fit as a result. Done a lot of work on my shoulder blades today um, and, uh, you know, that's obviously where the fracture is, so quite, quite sore to be honest, but um, I'm going to get in the pool now and that'll, that'll help me out. Now we're going to go in the hydro pool, so this is our purpose built facility. As you can see, we've got a treadmill within the pool. We've also got two, um, three jets at the front of the pool where we can work against some resistance when we're doing some aerobic conditioning. How's that? Yeah. So at the moment, work at that just for a couple of minutes and I'm going to put the jet speed up a little bit more. I'm not too keen on going back on the treadmill under the water or side to side in it. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, it's part of the, part of the job. Uh, I've only got a couple of weeks left and another week or so, hopefully two weeks with the neck brace on and then I can start cracking on and hopefully be back by mid-March. to myself a couple of weeks before I get back riding I wanted to kind of um, you know get back into the sleeping pattern and uh, since I've been off to be honest it's been quite hard because obviously I've gone from having a really busy year to then being on a break and doing nothing. Um, the rehab takes up a lot of your day um, and that's good because it stops you from you know worrying about when you're going to get back and how you're going to be when you get back. So I've been pretty occupied to be honest with the rehab. Yep, see you in a bit. I've been back a couple of weeks now and, you know, I've, the recovery that I was doing at Oaksy House has been, been brilliant, to be honest. Getting back on that horse after eight weeks off, I thought I might feel a bit sore and you don't know what you're going to feel like, I suppose. But I felt good and I wasn't sore or anything and I haven't lost my confidence and, you know, you just want to get back on, onto it. To be honest, if I ever had any doubts in my mind, I probably, I just wouldn't, wouldn't do it, you know, I wouldn't. 
If I was ever to wake up one morning and say, to, you know, be scared about going to work in case I fell off again or injured myself badly again, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. I'd find something different. Hampton so far has been great. There's a lot of senior members of staff there that have been there for 20 years or so and there's a lot of history about, you know, they all know their horses, everyone knows everything about every horse, so it's, they're very knowledgeable, which helps me out when it comes to speaking to the boss, you know. For a young man, he could have gone to his head a little bit. There's no, no signs of that. Hopefully we've got plenty of nice horses for him to ride and I'm sure he'll get a lot of support from people he rode winners for last year. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Fast open space, you know, gallops to your right and your left, you know, and the stables have got, very, they're very old and there's history there, you can just feel it as soon as you walk into the yard. And Mr. Charlton, obviously my new boss, he, he's been very good to me and he's been very understanding with my injury because obviously I got the job offer before I had my injury and, and then for me to go and have an injury not long after we had agreed that, it's quite, you would think it'd be quite tough on a trainer, you know, to, to hear that his jockey's already out and hasn't even started. But um, at the same time, I've been recovered quite quickly and um, you know, it hasn't affected the season too badly. I don't feel as I've, I've lost much fitness. In fact, I feel a bit stronger, so that's always a bonus and I've stayed quite light, so I'm happy about that. Back at Lingfield today, got a few rides, been ready and raring to go, had, had, to, had some tunes on, you know, getting in the swing of things again, and so we'll just have to wait and see how we get on. Hoping, but um, nevertheless, nice to get back on a horse and in a race. You know, haven't lost, haven't lost my confidence. So yeah, happy about that. Felt good, yeah. Diff you know, felt good, and uh, um, you know, like I said, where I belong now. So uh, you know, get, getting those gates open and jumping out, just back in the zone, which is great, great feeling to have.